I think it's it's quite hard to describe because it's it's unlike anything that I've I've, I've ever been part of really because it's such a strange movie. It's kind of it's kind of real and it's spooky and it's a psychological horror, but it works on a sort of number of levels really. And there's a sort of element of sort of mystery and fantasy to it, but it's also rooted very in very real psychological. It's it's grounded. So I think it's quite an original movie. It's nearly always the same as a script, really. You get sent a script, and I was sent this script, and I really loved it. I thought it was really good. I thought it was very well written. I thought it worked on a number of levels. I found it sort of disturbing and strange and pretty unique, really. So, um, no, I was excited by it. I found it very intriguing and scary the first time I read it. I was like, wow, where is this going? From the minute it starts, there's something unnerving about it. And um, I'm very cinematic, you know, I think it plays in a very, it really lends itself to, you know, to, you, you, it's a very v visual script when you read the script, you feel that you can sort of see it. So I think it'll be a very, I think it'll be a very uh, original movie. I wasn't at all, no, I hadn't seen this film. So obviously the first thing I did is went out and get Intacto and uh, 28 Weeks Later and I genuinely love them both. So once I'd seen those films, I was very excited about meeting him and talking to him and, and doing this film because um, I think they're both seriously good films and he's a very seriously good film director. Basically, um, I, I play the father of, of Mia who is b being disturbed by something and then it appears that there actually is somebody sort of stalking her and appearing in her bedroom and it all gets very scary and very unnerving and and John gets sort of very rattled by it really. Um, but the film kind of unravels and you begin to reveal things about him and his past that relate to what's going on really. From the first time that I sat in a room and worked with her with Juan Carlos, I could tell that she was, you know, a very serious actress. So um, we did rehearse and we've talked about it and we've spent time together, uh, you know, as, as you would. And um, I think she's very special. We certainly had rehearsal time, and I, I read with um, with Ella right from the beginning, and uh, was really impressed with her. I, I was very excited by her. I think she's a really fine young actress, and uh, she's very mature. She's it's un, it's not really like working with a child, really because she's very smart and very natural and very real. And so I almost treat working with her like I would the same with anybody else. There's no special compensation needed because she's so young, because she's kind of ahead of her years, really.